This video has some spoilers for the movie Cabin in the Woods, ye be warned. So I hope you've seen it because Cabin in the Woods is brilliant, but if you haven't, the full plot isn't important right now, however, there are a few things you need to know. Basically, at the end of the movie, it is discovered that all of these monsters that the main characters have been encountering, zombies, werewolves, giant snakes, etc., were all put there by this shadowy organization that sacrifices people in horror movie style fashion in an effort to conceal and appease the so-called ancient ones that will rise up and destroy the world should this process ever fail to continue. And at the end, one of the the last two survivors says, if you have to kill all my friends to survive, maybe it's time for a change. And they let the world be destroyed. I love that idea. Not the idea of destroying the world, that's generally frowned upon. The idea, rather, that the things that scare us, the dark, spiders, monsters, horror movies, are all just masking some underlying real fear like the ancients coming up to destroy the world. Something far worse than we could possibly rationalize or deal with, and so we chose to distract ourselves with smaller things. Things that are more manageable and tangible. At first, I thought about that underlying fear as death. I fear death immensely, just like everyone else. Death is scary. But I never spend a lot of time thinking about dying. It's too hard and honestly too uncomfortable to think about. It's very difficult to imagine not existing anymore. It's much easier to just not think about it. However, death is not the worst thing I can imagine. I've never been accused of being overly modest, but even I can concede that the world will in fact keep spinning should I die. Let's up the ante then. The end of humanity. Just as inevitable as my personal death, the human race will doubtless one day come to an end. Can we agree that's pretty scary? To know that one day there will be nobody left to remember Shakespeare and Newton? Let alone you and I. That's a sad thought, and one I'd honestly rather not dwell on. But even that, even that is not the worst possible scenario. Because even with the whole of humanity gone and forgotten, I take some measure of comfort in the knowledge that in our infinite universe, by probability alone, there are and will be countless other intelligent civilizations making discoveries and art and living meaningful, interesting lives to take up where we left off. It comforts me to know that even when we are gone, life will continue just as vibrant as ever. Well, that is of course until it all freezes to death. If you haven't already met, allow me to introduce you to the heat death of the universe. It would take a long time to explain all of the details, but the basic idea is that since there is a set amount of fuel in the universe, and that fuel is being used to create the energy and stars, that one day, all of the fuel will be so depleted and so spread out by the expanding universe that the stars will fall cold and die until there is no energy left. A sky with no stars, completely black, only cold dark matter expanding outward for the rest of time with no hope for life existing ever again. That, I present to you, is the ultimate underlying fear, the worst case scenario we'd rather not think about. And I think it would make a good horror movie too.